<laughs> Blackmore. Hello everyone, and I would like to welcome you all to a brand new series I've been working on for quite some time. Something I would like to make into an actual series for the entirety of taking characters with actual martial arts. We've seen so many characters over the past 27 years with many unique fighting styles based on traditional kung fu, wrestling, MMA, the whole nine yards. Our first character of the series will be everyone's favorite super top and long time legacy character of the Taken franchise, Lei Wu Dong. Ooh. Anybody else want a piece? We'll be going over the five animal art style of Kung Fu Lei Wu Long trains and the origins of each animal art style. What is Tiger Style Kung? Tiger style Kung Fu is a legendary martial art known for its tough in hand weapons, incredible power, and sheer ferocity. The Imperial Tiger styles are designed to fight multiple opponents with lethal intent and come from a direct lineage of true combat level Tiger Kung Fu. The Tiger style is dominant, strong, and very forceful in the context of the Shaolin 5 animal system. The tiger represents the physical and spiritual power of a superior force. As a part of the Shaolin 5 animal kung fu style, tiger kung fu has no evasion, no blocking, and no retreating. Similar to how the way it currently is for our boy Lei. And now we have one of the most popular animal styles within this kung fu, and that is the snake style. Snake style is based on whipping or rattling power which travels up the spine to the fingers or in the case of the rattler, the body shape which travels down the spine to the tip of the tailbone. The ability to sinuously move essentially by compressing one's stomach, abdominal muscles is very important. Footing is quite grounded at all times. The stance work is fluid in order to maximize the whipping potential of any movement. This necessitates building a strong spine to contain the power and strong fingers to convey the strike. Since breathing is important to any movement of the spine and ribs, snake style is considered one of the main styles which eventually led to eternal training. Snake style is also known as an approach to weapon training, the Chinese straight sword and spear in particular. There are even specialty varieties of sword blades and spear points that curve back and forth down the length of the blade in imitation of the snake's body known as snake sword or snake spear. Snake style generally aims for weak points of the human body, such as the eyes, groin, and joints. Dragon Fist was developed by Grandmaster Lam Yu Y. Sorry if I butchered that. Dragon Style Kung Fu is the only Chinese martial arts system that is modeled on a mythical animal. Dragon Style is an extremely effective martial art incorporating Dragon Fist. a wide variety of kicks, sweeps, strikes, locks, and takedowns, similar to uh, Lay's uh, Dragon 1. Dragon Style is a close range fighting style that incorporates a wide variety of highly effective kicks, sweeps, rapid strikes, Concealed within its strong external movement is a softer internal force that enables sensitivity, explosive power, and agility. When in use, Dragon Style embodies the essence of a Chinese dragon so that when you attack, you are like the wind. When you defend, you are like the cloud. When you stop, you are like iron. You advance like a tiger and retreat like a cat. Strikes in a dragon style are rapid and continuous, controlling the opponent from the moment he moves to attack you. The body must retain a dragon-like shape 
training the wrists, shoulders, waist, as well as other joint areas. Movements are fast and flowing with every strike hitting its intended target. As the practitioner waits for the attack, sticks onto the attack, deflects the attack, and pursues with an attack. Based on a highly flexible foundation of dynamic footwork, mental and physical sensitivity, and powerful strikes, the practitioner has a limitless arsenal at his disposal that can adapt to any situation as he learns to focus his chin mental power with technique his mind and intent becomes one the crane style referred to as the white crane style is a southern chinese martial arts style that was developed by bong kunyan a female martial artist it is associated with traditional fighting techniques including long range but is similar to close quarter combat. It is most recognizable by the way the fighter imitates a bird's pecking or flapping of the wings. While some white crane styles make use of traditional weapons, others have discontinued the use of weaponry for some time now. There are many versions of this legendary style. In some, the crane does not block the stick, but evades and counters it. The point of the style is to emphasize evasion and attack an opponent's vulnerabilities instead of using physical strength. White crane fighting elements are especially popular in women's self-defense training because the movements do not require great strength. They more closely imitate the delicate pecking motion associated with the style. There is no singular Hojun white crane system. The style deviated into multiple different branches. There's the sleeping, the crying, the eating, the flying, and shaking crane style. Based on characteristics of their techniques, all of these styles refer to the white crane as a whole. Leopard Kung Fu, or as it's known and taken, Panther Kung Fu is the style of Southern Chinese martial arts and is one of the five animal styles. The leopard style is thought to be a midway point between the tiger and crane styles, the strength and the height. It was supposedly created by Jue Yong with help from Bai Yu Feng and Li Su. The emphasis of leopard is speed and angular attack which translates really well in game with how lay speed is within leopard stance but it's referred as panther in game i'm not sure why it's labeled as that couldn't find too much info on this the leopard practitioner will focus on elbows knees low kicks and leopard punches leopard kung fu is a hit damage and run style designed to overcome superior forces with inferior resources Counterattacks are sudden, indirect, and short, with the aim of landing a debilitating technique. It is known that Leopard and Tiger have similar goals, but Tiger is more about power, while Leopard is about speed and cunning. Less blocking is involved in Leopard, more about evasion tactics. Exactly similar how the way Lay plays and taken with it where you can only move forward, and if he moves forward, he can auto-parry lows, and he's able to evade highs. Drunken Kung Fu, or referred to as Drunken Boxing, is an effective fighting style. The unpredictable swaying movements make the individual a difficult target. The style can make the fighter appear weakened or vulnerable, which can play on the opponent's emotions and it heavily disguises any rapid counterattacks. Many ask this question, does drunken kung fu really exist? Well, it is a real kung fu. Using lurching movements and falling have been incorporated into Shaolin Kung Fu. Although it is not a style in its own right and does not actually involve alcohol, but the Drunken Kung Fu in both Drunken Master films was invented by Jackie Chan and Yuen, creating new moves and opening doors for Kung Fu comedy films. As we can see, 
Lei had a lot of love and detail put into him as a character, with beautiful animations for movesets, jaw-dropping visuals of just how the way he performs each animal style. So I can only imagine how much manpower, traveling, and hours of research Harada and the Taken team had to go through with this character. Jack of all trades, master of none. I hope you all enjoyed these Kung Fu history segments on your favorite characters. But look forward to the next character I'll be covering, which is Ling Xiao Yu. See you guys next time. Follow me on my social medias and click that bell so you can be notified of any uploads in the future. Stay safe, guys, and enjoy the rest of your day. The study of Kung Fu fighting is ongoing.